Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Call of Cthulhu. Guys, we are still in the asylum and we try to get into Fuller's office somehow. Um, we discovered a bunch of interesting people here with interesting fates and what we want to do now is we want to leave this, um, what's it called, this, this nursery room, this block B room and uh, try to find again a way into the office. Hey dudes, what's, what's, what's wrong with you? Gentlemen. May I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. Oh, I saw her. She's fine. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. <laughs> She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Okay. So, let's keep going. Yeah, there's the kitchen. Hello. Just poking around. What's on for dinner? Mmm, stew. Nice. Is it is it fish soup? Uh, we could hide here, but we're not. I think we, we don't need to. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Okay, we eat the same food, and we are still fine. So, I guess it's not the food. Anything in here? Oh, I was, I was thinking there was a green dot for an uh, examination, but it wasn't. Yeah, I think that's just it. That's the clue here. We keep going. Uh, by the way, guys, we found the key to the boiler room in uh, a drawer earlier. It didn't belong there. So I guess I have to find a way into the boiler room. Hmm. Good thing is, bathroom man. Okay. Good thing is that I probably I'm probably allowed to move freely here. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up, and I'm the one who pays. What a pest! It's so unfair. Wait a second. This is the bathroom for men. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, uh, so, sorry. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Th that's a bathtub. I thought, wh wh why are they, where, why are there th those tables? Uh, okay, I get it. Uh, okay. Do you strap people on there to wash them? Kind of seems like it. No idea what's going on here. Yeah, you actually have to, wow. They put the lids on top of the bathtubs in order to keep the people down there. <laughs> okay. Okay. I get it. Uh-huh. So, we had, like, two clues here. Um, first, the nurse. And then there was something else, I believe. Yeah, look at that. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Shall we follow this tube? Maybe. Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Hmm, <clears throat> why you go through her? Hang in there. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. What is wrong with the boiler room? Seriously, what are they doing here? Alright. Administration. I mean, the tubes are whoop, whoop, going up there and then down this way. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep back or get back to that later. I want to get more clues first. Wow, this place is huge. Okay, but still, guys, we we're gonna find out what what to do here. Nothing. All right. Mm hmm. I mean, I want to find the clues, and at the same time, I don't want to spend too much time here. 
I ate more medicine. Okay. Do we get more... Wait, do we even get more... No, I don't think that we get more... What's it called? Uh, skill points in medicine when we read those here. Mary Donovan, head nurse. Okay. So, if that's Donovan's desk, maybe we can find something here that is compromising. No? Doesn't seem like... Oh, that's her. Is... Wait. Looks, look, looks interesting. Has a lighter shade than all of the others. That's why I'm looking at it. No? I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Guess not, then. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Uh, in Dr. Colden. Right? Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. Ah, that's his but office. Rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. <laughs> of course you would. Okay. Okay, so secondary object is either I could distract her or cut off the water. Mm-hmm. Oh, multiple choices. Nice one. Um. Again, just taking a quick look around. I don't think that we can get too many clues here because... Oh, interesting. Uh, it feels like that we just have to solve this real quick and then get back to the real world in order to progress our story. Everybody says it. She's a witch. An old hag. An old hag. I mean, we cannot really get anything here. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Okay. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Oh. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. Yeah, she's I'm part of I it. I can do nothing about it for the moment. Donovan, that old hag. What is that? Humo deliquente. Uh, this pseudoscientific scientific work uh, by Cesar Lombroso uh, correlates an individual's morpholo morphology with his criminal predispositions. Uh -huh. The seriousness of the study and the accuracy of the demonstrations can deceive an uninformed reader. Alright, great. Good job. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Okay. Okay. Okay, we, we have more clues here that we can find, actually. That means we're gonna keep keep looking around. That's the boiler room, at least. It's probably locked, right? The door to the boiler room is mm. locked. I will Where go inside I here. That key? Ah, yes. The office in block B. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have to actually backtrack here. Wow, that's crazy. That is so crazy. I, I didn't think that we would need to. Like we found that clue, and now, instead of taking it in the first place, we have to go back. But actually, that makes sense. But why would she take the boiler room key in the first place, right? The key to the boiler room. All I, mean, I have to do is shut off the water and now, hope Donovan takes the bait. Yeah, now, now, we have a, now we have a reason. That's the, all I'm saying here. It's a quiet little town. Mm -hmm. Days go by, steady as ever. <laughs> I wanted more for myself, but... You have no idea, man. You have no idea. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Wait a second. What are you doing here? Bradley? Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? I will prescribe you something. And you're a bad liar. Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? No. Look, I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually... You're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. It seems like an affliction. 
So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Mm -hmm. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh, there's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Okay. So even, uh, even Mr. Bradley has the symptoms now. Is everything all right? Yeah, I just... I know I should go. I will work until late. Oh. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we, we're gonna keep going. Oh, I want to talk to more people here. Where did my fiancé go? I took her. I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Burdening her with work? Okay, so your fiancé is, is working here. Alrighty. God, this place Sorry, is... Sorry, but nobody can take anything huge. until I finish the inventory. Alright, what are you Please. finishing? Here? The fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. Oh, I want to do it again. Please. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. So, this is this is amazing. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? What? Edward Pierce. The funny thing is that it's uh, October twenty-four. I think we have November now, don't we? Uh huh. This file is strangely incomplete, and the detail on treatment is not given. It does not respect standard practice. Ooh. ooh. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. Okay. I'll be going. Okay. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Mm hmm. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Mm hmm. Okay, I mean, we know where the boiler room key is. We have it already. Dr. Colden. No, ah, nothing here. Okay. So I think we have almost made the, the full circle. And I believe we cannot exit, right? There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. Yep. So there was that, there was that. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Okay. That's fine. Hey, dude. Nothing. What about you? You're just waiting? Okay. It's locked, right? Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Nope. <laughs> of course. So, uh, I think what we have to do is we have to enter the boiler room. Right? Bathroom men. That's the pharmacy. Block A, block B. Yeah, yeah, let, let's go. Let's just enter the boiler room. And now I completely... Ah, let's track where I am. Here we go. There's the boiler room. Whoa, this is not looking great. Wow. Why why is this so slimy on the ground? Are you actually putting you're yeah, not putting this green stuff into the You into the water system? The stupid fish Cthulhu oil? <laughs> Not strong I enough. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. You need a tool. Yeah, here are plenty of tools lying around. Okay, I, I need a tool. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Eh. Oof. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. I mean, we can ask the janitor. We can try. Where would we find a tool here? I didn't see any any kind of tool earlier. Hmm. Give me a second. Talk to her. Everything all right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth. Thank you. I was making sure the water wasn't cut off yet again. Thank God, no. The water's running. I have no desire to call Donovan for help. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. 
It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. So we need to find a tool. Where would we find a tool? Again, the jan janitor comes to mind. So let's talk to him first. He was cleaning up here. Earlier. Earlier. Not anymore, though. Aha! Got it! Got it! That was easy. Well, he was just leaving his stuff there. Nice. Cool, now we can go into the boiler room. And hopefully fix that. Okay, shutting off the water. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Mm hmm So where where was Fuller's office? Ah, let's go. Was it there? Nope. Mm, nope. Kitchen, storage. Administration. Yep, there we go, guys. There we go. Go back to Elizabeth. Ah, we have to go back to Elizabeth first. Okay. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. All right. Go talk to her. I'm, go I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you courage. I'm just right behind. You. I got your back, okay? And when you're done with it, I will get into Fuller's office. Mrs. Donovan. I'm busy. Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But it's about the water. What now? It's off. It's not my fault. Nothing is ever your fault. I told you to control the flow. Even if I know it's not your strong point. I've apologized a thousand times. No. I haven't counted that many. But then, unlike you, I don't have time to keep track. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Donovan. I'm grateful to you for having kept me on despite that incident. I just need the water to be put back on. Otherwise, the bathroom will quickly become a nest of germs. Oh, very well. I'll finish what I'm doing, and then I'll fix your blunders once more. Thank you, ma'am. Out of my sight. Go chatter with your colleagues. That okay, okay, okay. We're gonna use that spot that we have right Last. now. The missing files must be hidden here. Okay, let's be quick, guys. The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. The study this is of where the... Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. What? Stendhal Syndrome, a particularly rare mental illness. Subjects display mental disorders linked to an exposure to works of art. Okay. So he uh, had a legitimate reason to get him here. Interesting. Where are your files, Doc? Scylla? Yeah. Something is wrong with these masts. Oh, it's that's right. some sort of puzzle. Okay. Uh... Oh god. So if we if we hit the, the center one, both of the outs, outsides uh, turn as well. Yeah, we have it. I've unlocked something. Yep. Patient files. I was right. Ooh, cylinder. Nice. He recorded his thoughts about the many psychoanalysis uh, psychoanalysis sessions he submitted to Sarah Hawkins. <gasps> nice one. We got a Sarah Hawkins interview. Uh, can we play it right here? I think just getting out is the right thing to do. I'm curious, though. It's the worst thing that you could do. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. 
Mm -hmm. So they say that she has accepted them. Very interesting. This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? There is the finger of a woman in a jar. In his bookshelf. Alright. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. No, really. Okay. There's more. Way more here. Oh my god, this is so cool. I, I like these investigation scenes. Okay. Give me a second. This is her burnt shoe. What is it doing here? We had that. Also, again, this footprint um, that we saw earlier might match with this shoe here. Um. Oh, there it is. Why is Ethan on medication? Ethan? Hmm. Give me, give me a second, guys. Ethan? Uh, mum, 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 mum. Uh, where is he? Dr. Fuller? Dr. Fuller reigns. Who, who was Ethan? Was that, was that Dr. Fuller? Damn it. I can't remember. James, Roy. Might be. Okay, never mind. Let's let's keep going. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I'm right that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Fitzroy? Really? Okay. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It's fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. <laughs> When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. Was he the arson? In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Oh my god, there's so much to process right now. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Obviously. Okay, I think we found everything. Mm. Let me, let me, let me get back to the clues. Um, no, not the clues. Inventory, no. Knowledge. Has to be, it has to be the clues here, right? I, I want to know about this, this whole situation here. Okay, let me get out of here. Maybe we will get it after the, after the scene. I must go back to the basement. Exactly. Okay, so we can now reconstruct all of this. The evidence garnered in the Hawkins drawing room raises questions as of what to, as what became of the parents' bodies. Uh huh. The discoveries of Colden in the office of Fuller's reinforced this conviction. Sarah Hawkins was moved from the crime scene by n none other than Dr. Fuller. Even more significant, the director of the Riverside Institute obviously had a strong obsession with the artist. The content of the cylinders recorded by the doctor proves his interest in the young painter. Summaries of psychoanalysis sessions as well as blood tests confirm the fact. In one of the cylinders, Fuller clearly states that he has hidden the body and the personal effects of one of, this, of his patients. Okay... So we gotta go to the morgue. Somehow. How to get out of here? Oh, 
That's a locked room. I should go another way. No, <laughs> yeah, probably. Like getting out of this office straight away is probably not the best idea. Hello? Do you see me inside? No? Good! Great. Go down the psychiatric wing. Okay, so... How? Storage room, storage room. Now we can't get in. Yeah, I was just trying. Is never accessible after an if it was accessible now. The janitor again. Okay. Um. Now where to go? That's block B. How can I get there? Chin storage. Block A. Ah, here we go. High security, unauthorized personnel only. Okay. Ooh, okay, I get it. Ah, we've been here before. Did we? Uh, maybe. I mean, obviously. Been here before at some time, but this seems to be another entrance. Okay. Get down here. That is not cool. That is so not cool. Lots of blood. Yeah, I think this is the place where we've been. Oops. Good day, sir. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. No! No! Oh my god. I wonder if I could have avoided that. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. We've seen Talk, that man. Filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. We've seen that guy earlier. Um, that guy was sitting in the bar reading books. Uh, he wouldn't talk to us. He was so hung up in his uh, in his readings there. It was Charles Hawkins. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. <laughs> now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Um. Oh, we're not... Oh, damn it. We are not occult enough to answer that. Okay. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Uh, sure. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Why? Now go. Rescue the doctor. Ah, later. Thank okay. you, Drake. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. <laughs> That's a nice scene. And back at the Riverside Institute, chapter 9, guys. The book projected peers into the body of Dr. Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her inqu inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Dr. Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the do director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body of, Sarah Hawkins. But she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. Okay. I wonder if there's any kind of timed thing. I hate those things. Timers in video games where you are investigating a lot. Okay. We're inside. Hi, 
I pray that Colden is really here and alive. That's his office, right? Yep. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Shall we go for more investigation? We have four CP available. Oh, yes. So, two and two. This. And after this, I think I want more investigation for more lockpicking skills. Um. Yeah, let's go. It's 5 CP for the next full level. I wonder if only full levels will help you, or if you can, uh, if this percentage value is the, the key here. Not entirely sure. We go with it. Let's do it! Aha! Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 1! Okay, there are multiples of them. Interesting. The diary of Reverend, Reverend Wickwood's wife. Her husband, John, built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop. At the end of the 17th century, they were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries oh, earlier. Diary. Wait. There were people on this island before, and they disappeared. They just disappeared. The Scylla is here, like in the vision. Colden came this way. Mm -hmm. So if we can, we're gonna save our fuel for the lantern. And one of, yeah, that's one of uh, the Hawkins paintings <laughs> has to be, <laughs> all right. What the, Fuller too. Uh-huh. Sleeping pills. Probably used on the patients who have trouble sleeping to find slumber. Yeah. I mean, if it's if it's his pills, he has some problems too. Investigation. What does that mean? Oh, I didn't think that we got it. Yeah, that's Fuller. And his nurses. Um, I think we're done here. Which means, um, which way do we go? Yeah, this is still locked. Um, this was get us, would get us directly out of the office. Um, we're gonna take the way through the administration. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. So how to do it? Moreover, I don't know who he was opening up, but he seemed quite enthusiastic. Ah, this is the way to the. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm just checking, guys. Maybe we can find some more clues. There's another guard. Will he spot me? No, he doesn't. Uh, everything, everything is locked here, of course. So it's kind of railroaded towards the. Uh, psychiatric wing. Oh no, not you again! Holy cow! My God, what what is happening to me? What was Just that? Following. It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Uh, and what? Oh, that's that's interesting. What happened? Something has changed, but what? Oh, really? Well, we have green vision. And we have red vision. <laughs> kind of. Alright, so I believe... Now, we can actually move. Ah. Look at that. Okay, I'm kind of on another plane, so it seems. What do we do here, though? Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I cannot switch the lantern. That's not possible. Ah, pseudo-scientific work. Okay. We've seen that before. But now we have it. Interesting. Hmm. 
Okay, can we move freely here? Is that possible? This seems to be blocked. All right. I think we have to find our way through this. So we have two different symbols. It's kind of a seven-ish thingy. And then we have this one. We've seen before on the cultists' um, necklaces. All right. Walk around. And then there's another one. Hello? Anybody here? I'm just mildly scared. Not really. Medicine and secret sciences. Ooh. Now we can get all of them. Yeah, but we don't get any more medicine available. No medicine skill. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I mean, clearly there are no patients here anymore because they are probably on the... Again, the other plane. It doesn't look good. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I just want to make sure that I don't miss out on anything. Hello? Whoa, this is now... What? This was open before. I have a strong feeling that we need to switch lantern and uh, try to find another path. Not possible here. Can we go through this? Nope. Hello? Uh, no, it's also not possible. I mean, this lantern gives us the clue that we should go to the pharmacy, but what is there? Oh, wait. Didn't I discover this shelf there? Okay, I'm gonna check out again. Let me see. Let me see. Get in here. Obviously, I was missing a clue. Or maybe not. Was it what was the green line going through the wall? Pointing into that direction. Oh guys, I'm lost. What is it that I'm missing here? We're gonna take another look with the other lantern. What is it? Yeah, we have to look again. That is weird. Or, wait, 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 wait. Now that we've opened the door, can we go through it? <gasps> I see! That's the point. Okay, so the Elder Signs prevented this. Alright, alright, alright. And now we can read this. Increase your lamp's brightness. Awaken and free me. Uh, I'm not sure. Can we discuss this, please? Uh, okay. They tell me that I should increase the brightness. Oh my god. Okay, so... That's gonna be interesting. So, can I do this here as well? Nope. And now we are back to step one. Okay, I hear a heartbeat. It means that the Shambler is near. Also, we are running out of fuel. Ah! Oh. Can I get in here? No, I cannot. Here we go. Okay. Ah, so we can refuel here at... Oh my god, this is not cool, guys. This is not cool. Can we destroy this? No, not yet. Oof. Alright, we change lamp again. Um, they want us to go through here. One is open up. We go to the administration now. See if that works. What do we find here? Nothing so far. 
God, this is spooky as hell. This is so damn spooky. I hate it. <laughs> and love it at the same time. I cannot get through there. Okay, so how does this work? Mm, nope. This is the bathroom. Ah. It is trapped. Okay, cool. So we have to. We found the second. Um, yeah, yeah. We found the second rune, and now we can. Probably. But there. Okay. Let's see. Through here. Means. We have to somehow get through through this. Oh wait, now we can do this, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, the pieces are coming together. And now what? Upstairs. Ooh. Trembler's close, so it seems. There's another sign. Okay, it's th through here. Alright, let's see. All the way to the entrance again. Switching lanterns. And then we go over here. Yeah, right. So we somehow need to open the path over here. How? Hello? Anybody here? We have to do it through this room. Oh, there's... Wait, we can destroy that, right? Yeah. Um, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lanterns. Alrighty, guys. We will get there, wherever that may be. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's the nasty guy. Hello, Shambler. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um. I'm gonna follow over here. Okay, we got that sign now. You are confronting powers that surpass you. That's stressful, guys. You cannot imagine. I don't want to run into this shambler, dude. Oh yeah, okay. So we can now destroy this path. Or this blockade and this whatever. Option. the wall here okay um we have to find another way shambler's close where to go but this is why i don't play alien isolation <laughs> those moments they are the worst Damn it. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I'm running out of lantern fuel. Oh my god. We're gonna die, guys. We are going to die. How to get out of this? We have no light anymore. Okay, that's fair. Oh my god. You know what? That's that's Cthulhu horror or Lovecraftian horror at its best. You are a helpless person and you can't do anything. You are just a human being without any weapons and stuff. Okay, so again, around here. What happened? What happened here, guys? Where's the clue? Oh wait, we started? 
couldn't go there? Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. I thought I could go through there. It wasn't possible. Alright, let's start over again. Well, we have to go around here. And there's the administration. But we go around the other side. Just need to find our trail of things again. Ah, okay, now we're here. Ah, uh, we're getting things done. Ah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, another way around. Can't get into the bathroom. Blocks us from getting in there. That's Fuller's office again. No! I thought that if we... Wait, around here? If we'd increased the, the light of the lantern, it would break. It doesn't work. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. Okay, we, we're gonna do it again. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Am I missing something? Give me a second. Give me one second. We have to open the door first. That's it. That is it. So, wait, where was the... Okay. That. That. Ah, there we go, guys. There we go. Gonna open it first, and then we can get in there again. Alrighty. Cool. So we're gonna do that. And we can go this way around directly. Forgot it. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, where was the start? Somewhere around this place. Yes. Alrighty. Um, yeah, let's go. I mean, as I was saying, let's love Craftian Horror at its best. Um. Oh my god! You stupid... What the hell? Crap. 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 That was not good. <laughs> god. <laughs> Holy macaroni. Ugh. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Can I now do this? Did we make it? Um. I don't feel comfortable. Not at all. Is another book. Hmm. Yeah, we have to refuel the lamp, honestly. Let's, let's do that. Alright. Cow. Um. So, yeah, how, how do we... How do we get... Downstairs? How was it done? Can we do it here? That's it, I guess. It looks like things are back to normal. Whoa. Whoa, guys. That was an episode. Holy cow. Guys, you know what? We're gonna make a break here. <laughs> I think that was that was it for today, guys. We will continue investigating further next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Call of Cthulhu, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more. And I hope to see you guys next time. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>